All right, the first thing you guys are gonna wanna do is head on over to firewire.com. I'll have the link in the description below for you. What you guys are gonna wanna do when you're on this page, go ahead and log in with Twitch. Once you're done linking your Twitch account to Triggerfire, we're now gonna select what type of alert we'd like to add. You can add images, videos, and sound alerts that your chat can trigger. For this video, we're gonna go ahead and do an image trigger. What you're gonna wanna do is click create. Once the new image trigger box opens, you guys are gonna have to add a name for this command. I'm going to add a poop emoji as my image, so my command name is going to be poop. Now I have to go to Twitch and create that reward name so I can connect it to Triggerfire. Go to your stream manager dashboard on Twitch, then click on viewer rewards, then click on channel points. If you haven't already, enable channel points. Then click on manager rewards and challenges. Then click on add new custom reward. Under reward name, you're gonna to wanna to name it the exact same as the trigger fire alert command. So I've got it named poop here. And on Twitch, I've got my reward name is poop. It is case sensitive, you guys, okay? So if you have a capital P here, when you enter it over here, it's gotta be also a capital P as well. You can add a description if you want. Under cost, go ahead and add how many channel points you'd like this reward to be. If you'd like to add a custom image for your reward, you can do it here. If you guys don't know how to do that, I have a video on resizing GIFs. Go ahead and check out my channel for that. For this video, we're not gonna add an image though. We can change the background color. Poop brown. <laughs> Down below under skip reward request queue, you're gonna wanna turn that on. We turn this on because when people use channel points for rewards, it automatically does it. So there isn't a queue for waiting. It's an automatic thing. You guys are gonna wanna turn on cooldown and limits. If you don't turn this on, then users in your chat can spam the alert over and over. So what you wanna do is create a cooldown timer. You can either choose minutes, hours, or days. I think days and hours is honestly a weird cooldown. Minutes is where you wanna be. And then down below, you could limit the amount of times that each reward is redeemed per streamed and by per user. When you're done, go ahead and click create. Now you have to add this alert to trigger fire. Let's go ahead and head back over to trigger fire and click this alert symbol right here and add the reward name that we just added to Twitch. This is case sensitive again, you guys. If you don't put it in the exact same way that you have it over here on Twitch, then it won't work. So make sure that the reward name is the exact same as it is on Twitch. Then click save. Now you wanna select your image. Go ahead and click select image. You're gonna to have to upload your image from your computer. Click upload. You can either drag the file directly to this box or you can click select file to find the file in your computer. Once you've located your file, go ahead and add it. Once you've added your file, go ahead and click the check mark and it will add it to your trigger. Now down below, as far as size and position, we're gonna go ahead and manually do that in OBS. So we don't need to change that here in Trigger Fire. But under duration, this is in seconds. How many seconds you'd like the image to pop up. You can change that right here. When you're done, go ahead and click save, you guys. Now all we need to do is add this to OBS as a browser source and we're done. Go ahead and click on this pink link right here. And then on this page, go ahead and click copy link and then click close. Now open up your OBS studio. Once OBS studio is open, go ahead and go down to scenes and click the plus sign to add a new scene. If you already have an alert nest, then go to your alert nest scene. Once your alert nest is open, go ahead and go to sources and click the plus sign to add a new source. Then click on browser. Click create new and name it whatever you'd like. I'm gonna name mine trigger fire. Then click okay. On this window, we're gonna go ahead and paste the URL that we just got from the trigger fire webpage. Then click okay. At this time, you can adjust the size and position of your alert box for trigger fire. Once you're done positioning the trigger fire alert box, you can go ahead and add your alertness to any of your live scenes. All you have to do is click the scene that you'd like to add the alerts to, and then on sources, click the plus sign and add a scene. And then below, click on alert nest and click OK. After you added the alert nest, go ahead and lock it into place and you are done. Your alert is ready to go.